Would you like to start growing when the weather's not the greatest outside, still kind of cold? This frame house is what you need. Let's build this together. I have all the step-by-step -step on what I did, what you need, super easy to do. Took me roughly an hour to do, and that's it. So come join me, we'll build this awesome cold frame. Hey, come join us today while we build a cold frame. She's gonna help. Maybe the one back there is gonna help. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Okay, to make this cold frame, you're gonna need a one and a half by one and a half Dada. post tape measure. You're gonna use a fence plank. You're gonna need, Watch out. you're gonna need a half inch by one and a half inch eight foot piece of wood and we're going to use some plastic i'm using the three and a half mil of the plastic so i'm going to build our cold frame the height of height of two of these so let's go ahead and get the measurement both of them down on the ground and just get the measurement in this case it's 12 inches or one foot so i'm just going to have a one foot off the ground so what we're going to do with our um, post here i'm going to measure one foot and I'm actually gonna go ahead and measure four of them at one foot. All right, now what I'm gonna do is now that I have them, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them with the jigsaw. Now that I have my fork cut at one inch, I'm gonna go ahead and screw them into here, into my plank. Okay, now that we have our post ready and all ready and all cut and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and get them screwed into here. What we're not gonna do, is we're not gonna put this on right on top of it and screw right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually come in about a quarter, uh, three quarters of an inch, which is the thickness of our, of our wood here. So, so we're going to measure in three quarters of an inch. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. All right, so after we have it lined up, what I do is I get a, I get a drill and I just draw a hole through the first wood. This wood splits very easily. So I just go through it, take it out. And I go ahead and just grab my screw and put it in. There we go. Now our wood's not splitting. Now we're gonna do, we're not gonna put it in the middle. I wanna put it on the outside of this one, just so my my wood in here isn't on an angle. So let me go ahead and get this one lined up and then I'm gonna measure in three quarters of an inch here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my same. I'm gonna pre-drill my hole right here. Might, might help if I had it in forward, not reverse. And go ahead and put my screw in. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the middle pieces. I'm going to do my middle pieces now. Now I'm going to do the other side and the other pieces. There you go. The first piece is done, ready to go. I'm just going to replicate the same thing I did right here on my other piece. So one, one thing that might help is just mark an inch and a half on your board here. Then you could do your pre-drill before I put it on there. So it kind of might help you line it up. So I'm just going to put it right there. Right here. Right here. Right here. So I'll grab our, grab our post here. And do a three quarter inch. Right there. I had to go out in the garage and get some more screws. Uh, I'm using I'm using inch and a quarter screws. Actually, you got plenty of screws on hand before you do this. Go ahead and put that in. Our outside piece. Line it up. 
pulled and screwed in. Flip the board and do it on the other side. There we go. Now we got these both done. Now the question you need to ask yourself is how wide do I want this? So I'm going to be putting this underneath a hoop house. The hoop house is 41 inches wide. So obviously I don't want to be wider than 41 inches. I'll probably just make it three feet wide. I'll probably just go 36 inches. So remember we left this uh, lip here. So if I want it to be 36 inches from the outside of this to the outside of that, this is three quarter inch. I have two of them. So I'm going to subtract an inch and a half from 36 and that's going to put me at 34 and a half. So I'm going to cut my side angle, my side piece is at 34 and a half. So now they got them all lined up and ready to go. Go ahead and grab my jigsaw and cut them. One tip, make sure your batteries are charged. I have four of them ready to go. So what I'm going to do, just like the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill holes. Holes on these can be about half inch in. First board right here, I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to screw it right in there. All right, so now that we got our base of our cold frame done, I'm gonna go ahead and build a lid for this. The reason why I want the lid is so during the day or when it's warm out, I can prop the lid open. When it's cold, I can put the lid on the top. So that's one of the purposes or the concepts of the cold frame. We can grow our stuff outside when it's colder outside, and this gives it a layer of insulation. Same with the lid too. When you have your lid on the top of it, the sun will come in and heat it up. So now let's get to it. We're going to do the lid next. So for the lid, I'm going to use these one and a half by half inch, eight foot long pieces of lumber. They're about a buck fifty, I think, a piece. Pretty cheap. So I'm going to end up putting them one here, one here, and on the side. And after I have this, I'm going to put plastic on top of it. And then I'm going to put another layer of these on top of it to kind of help seal the plastic in. So the first step is I'm going to take my total length of my box, which is six feet. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this at six feet and give it a cut. What we're going to do is we have our wood here. We're going to take our measurements on the inside. And in this case, it's going to be 33 inches. It's going to be 33 inches. So let's go ahead and get two pieces cut at 33 inches. Put it right there. The way we're going to end up securing this is, is when I put the plastic on top, we're just going to staple it in. So I'm not worried about securing this at all. So now we're going to grab our plastic. What is a good tip to do, make sure that the opening's on the top here before we roll it over to the other side. Let's go ahead and get the plastic out that we need. Kind of give a rough, rough uh, estimate on how much you need. Got our stapler. Unwrap it the best we can. Just 
is the very first corner right here. We're going to go ahead and staple it. You're going to come over to this. Now we're going to come over to this corner. Do the same thing. Might have to mess around with this to get it. Once we get this corner in, it should be pretty good, pretty, pretty secure. Let's go. Go ahead and just staple this corner in. There we go. Now we can go down to the other side, pull it, and get it to the length we need it. What I'm gonna do. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just start stapling it in here. Just do a couple staples. All right, there's a, you know, it's really, it's really uh, dipping down right here. We do the other side, we'll pull pretty tight. So now I'm just going to go down to the other end. So what I'm gonna do here is just keep going down, pull it tight, staple it in, pull it tight until this is pretty flat. To come back, I'll show you how it looks. All right, now that we have the plastic on, what we're gonna end up doing is I wanna put another layer of this um, one and a half by quarter inch wood on top. So there we go. It's pretty flat. It will work perfect for this. I got my top screwed on. Said the wood does split sometimes. Just gotta just gotta run with it and deal with it. I have this on. Now I have all the extra plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my razor blade and cut it and clean it up. Okay, so one of the last steps we need to do on the for the top, we need to be able to, we need to put hinges on it. So I got these small two and a half inch hinges. Should work fine for this. So we're gonna line up the, the top where we want it. We're gonna go and grab our hinge and we're gonna put it right there and then right there. So that's what we want to do. I'm going to put this one. I'm going to put the one down there. All right, so we got this hinge. I'm putting mine in about a foot and a half in. And we're going to go down to the other end. I'm going to put the hinge in down here too. Now that we got our hinges on, we can open and close and get to it. What we'll end up doing is getting a piece of wood to prop this open on days that we need to. And on those cold, frigid nights, when the weather just isn't the greatest, we'll shut it, and our plants will keep warm. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it to everybody you know. This will be really good for extending your growing season, making you produce more food that you can eat and keep growing. <laughs> If you're new here though, and you haven't already followed me, there'll be a button right at there on the top of my page. If you have been here several times and you haven't followed me, go do it right up on the top. That'll help me out a lot. Guys, until next time, keep growing.